Hey everybody, Vince McConnell, McConnell Athletics for Superflex Resistance Bands. I'm going to go over the Nucleus 8 that is in the uh, recent installment of the Integrated Athletic Mobility Prep. To do that, we just need one resistance band. These, these are all 40 inch bands. I'm going to use the 4.5. You can drop down to the 4 or even the 3 or go up to the 5 if that's all that you have. But I find that the 4.5 tends to get everything done most efficiently. First drill that we're going to do is called an X-band walk. Stand on top of the band, your feet are outside, hip width, and we want a little bit of slack in the band when we stand on it. In other words, we don't want to be here and then all the tension down at the bottom. So walk your feet out, lift the feet up, cross the band over to create an X, and then your shoulder blades down and back. We're going to go to the right. Now notice what my left foot does when I walk to the right. I'm going forward to the right, forward to the left, that equals one cycle. So I keep the left foot out. I don't want to shorten or uh, decrease the distance of the right and the left foot. So after I hit forward to the right, then I'm coming back forward to the left. You keep doing that for the number of repetitions that's in this week's blog. Second exercise, we're gonna do what's called a 3D band pull apart from a split stance. Stand on top of the band. Now if you're under six feet tall on three of these drills, I'm gonna have you wrap the band around your foot. Now that shortens the tension, shortens the band, so it increases the tension for somebody that is under six feet. If you're taller than that, obviously, just don't wrap the band around your foot. Now from here, split stance, we're gonna do a front raise. I've got my hands about 14 inches apart. Front raise, and then pull apart. We're keeping the band, or the arms level, all the way through. After we hit a series of reps on that side, then we just flip it over with the other foot back. We're working hip mobility at the same time. We're working scapular retraction. Next up, we're gonna do scap push-up, but basically it's a straight arm push-up, and we're going to do it from your knees. Now, the reason being is we don't want as much tension in the shoulder girdle as we would in a full push-up. So even if you can do full push-ups, I want you to do these from the knees. Notice I got the band underneath the arms, not here, but all the way underneath. Walk the hands out so that your wrists are right up underneath your shoulders. Slight posterior tilt of your pelvis. This would be anterior tilt. We want a slight posterior tilt and then move from the scapula, push through the band. Arms straight all the way through. The second part of the third station or third drill is going to be a mountain climb. Band in the same position. Now this time you do go into a um, high plank, which is the top part of a full push-up, but you're not going to move from your from your elbows again. The knee comes to the elbow. Notice the foot doesn't touch. So I'm thinking about this hip flexion. The right knee comes in. Activate this hip flexion to bring the knee or the knee towards the elbow. Extend back out using the glute, going back and forth side to side. Fourth exercise is going to be a hip hinge, single leg. Take the band again. Those of you that are under six feet, take the band all the way around the foot. We're going to take the band up and over on the back. Notice it's on my upper back, not my neck. And then from here, slight bend in the knee of the side, then I'm working. All the reps on one side, then we do all the reps on the other side. Next up, you're going to be flat on your back. You're going to do a glute bridge, single leg. Now we use the band both to keep the top knee stable as well as to provide resistance to the glute bridge. Take the band around the knee, lay all the way back, and then notice I'm up at the top, I'm gonna to start with a five second hold. Then, I'm doing a series of reps. Again, into the heel, notice the entire foot stays into the ground. I don't want the heel to come up. Keep the heel in contact all the way through. You do all the reps on one side, switch it over, do all the reps on the other side. Next up, we've got overhead split squat. Again, if you need to, wrap the band all the way around the foot, the side that we're working. You're going to go into an overhead position. So from the front, looks like this. From the side, notice I'm able to see space when I turn my head side to side as opposed to being here. So go all the way overhead and then pull the band apart slightly. side. 
Bring the man down. Obviously, same number of repetitions on the other side. Seven drill. It's going to work adductor mobility. Take the band. Stand on one strand of the band. Widen your stance outside of hip width. Now, from there, take the slack out of the band. We're going to take an underhand grip as if we're going to curl the band up. Squat down. Elbows inside your knees. Loop the band underneath where you've got it in the web of your hands. And then from here, pry your hips open with your elbows inside your knees, side to side. So you just rock back and forth, keep the chest up. Keep your spine as neutral as possible all the way through here. Weight into your heels, going side to side. You're gonna do this for, more for time than reps, so we're looking at 30 seconds. Now the eighth and final drill is probably the most challenging of all eight of these. You're gonna be on your back, start with your knees bent, your feet flat on the floor. Take the band with a wide grip. You're gonna go about 16, 20 inches apart. Now from here, you're thinking, push your lower back into the floor, tuck your chin, elevate your shoulder blades off the ground. Now, this is not a crunch. You're not throwing your body up. You're gonna make sure that it's a very subtle movement. From here, raise your feet up. To make it more challenging, extend your legs out. Less challenging, keep your knees bent. And you're doing two pull-aparts. Exhale as you go out. And then do a, all the way up, pull over, all the way back. That equals one cycle. You're doing six to 10 total cycles of this. Now to make it more challenging, extend your legs out. Come up a little bit higher. And again, all the while, let this position here determine how many reps and how much you extend your legs. You want to be flush against the ground on this and think brace your abdominals all the way through. Well, there you have it. There are eight drills that make up our nucleus eight for our core activation stabilization. Vince McConnell, McConnell Athletics for Superflex Resistance Bands.